Weather and climate have a major impact on the health, well-being and prosperity of societies all over the world. Africa, perhaps more than any other continent, is vulnerable to weather, water and climate-related extremes, which cause heavy loss of life and can roll back socio-economic development. Droughts and floods are expected to increase in frequency and intensity as a result of climate change, which is also disrupting traditional rainfall seasons. Food security is further jeopardized by desertification, environmental degradation and population increase. The African Ministerial Conference on Meteorology, ANCOMET, aims to strengthen the provision and use of weather and climate services necessary to meet these challenges. It is an initiative of the African Union Commission and World Meteorological Organization. ANCOMET is a high-level mechanism for the development of meteorology and its applications in Africa, providing African heads of state with sound scientific advice for decision-making. ANCOMET is responsible for the Integrated African Strategy on Meteorology, Weather and Climate Services. This aims to enhance cooperation between African countries and strengthen the contribution of national meteorological and hydrological services to sustainable development. ANCOMET promotes successful programs and products which have a positive impact throughout Africa. Examples include severe weather forecast warnings and mobile phone weather alerts for vulnerable sectors of society, like fishermen. Training and dissemination of weather and climate information for farmers, helping them increase crop yields, reduce re-sowing rates and minimize losses. Improved meteorological services for aviation to enable safe, efficient and economic route planning and accurate seasonal climate outlooks to allow the health sector to prepare for and manage outbreaks of climate-sensitive diseases like malaria, diarrhea and meningitis. National meteorological and hydrological services make a vital contribution to the public safety and socio-economic development. Now more than ever, they need sufficient funding and recognition to enable them to fulfill their mandate for the benefit of the entire African continent.